Now I mentioned in all of that, uh, experience that I had with, you know, sometimes can burn me out comments, things like that. Being a YouTube, uh, community member and being in a essentially fellows, a position of prominence can have some positives and some negatives. I would love to hear maybe a short story, uh, on each of those from you guys. What, what's a, a great YouTube community experience and maybe uh, a not so great one? And uh, you will start with through? you, Jim. Um, yeah, I think I've met some of my best friends through, through YouTube and comics and just, I've, I've got a lot of really great lifelong friends. And, and, but they're not all into my nerd shit. Right. And you you said it earlier. It's like, when you come on here, all you got to do is just be you. You just got to be excited and talk about comics. And I found that when I'm on YouTube and I'm just excited and I have an opinion and I'm talking about comics and I'm just being myself and just putting myself out there. Sometimes I see people are interested in it. And it's a feeling that I've never had before. It's like, I see my friends like, uh, well, actually, you know, Miles Morales isn't Spider-Man's son. He's, I hear he's got, he's a black Spider-Man. He's Spider-Man's black son. Like, and I have to explain to my friends, but I'd take two hours to do it. And then they look at me like, we didn't care. We didn't <laughs> care about any of this. And it's fun to have an environment where people are passionate about the same things. Um, Collecting comics and reading comics is a very solitary endeavor. Um, it, you, you sit down, you turn the pages, you absorb the story, you bag and board those issues, you catalog them in your long boxes. And not many of my IRL acquaintances or friends would give a shit about any of it, right? But when I started watching YouTube and I found some of these channels, some of which that aren't even around anymore, um, I, I met these people that were into the same things I was into. And you find your tribe. It's really easy on social media and in this internet digital age to find your tribe. It's really easy that way. And the same way you, you run across so many different personalities that there's lots of drama and high school, middle school bullshit that comes along with any community. Um, especially when you, you're talking about keyboard warriors in a lot of senses. So th- I would say I don't have any specific stories, but I will shout out a few specific names. Um, great legend. Um, that guy said my name when I was in a live show chat. Right. And I was like immediately a part of the community. Right. He's like, Oh, we got a new guy in here. Drew Manchu. What's going on. Right. I haven't seen you in here before. And then immediately other people are like, Hey man, what's going on. And I got in conversations in his chat room just from him shouting out my name you're twirling around in circles with like sound of music i mean i right? not like not i'm not i wasn't fanboying or anything but it was it was it was nice it felt yes, personal I it felt what, like yeah, I, I was being uh given a hand right and somebody <laughs> pulled me in to the community um and alternatively there's there's trolls out there man and but for the most part it's just like there are people out there who do bad business And you hate to see that because it's just so much easier just to do good business and be a good member of the community and, and give more than you take. Um, And, and there's a lot of fake people out there on YouTube that are just like, Hey man, you know, they're all buddy, buddy and friends to your face. And then not when you're not around. And, and that's to be expected in any sort of human interaction um, but as a microcosm, I think that there's more positive than there is negative in the comic book community. And I think when you look at the smaller channels, when you look at, like I was on a stream, Jigs Kingdom did a live stream the other day for 38 hours, right? And I was on his live stream. I remember when Jigs didn't do videos, he just bought mystery slabs and auctions, Right. And then he started doing videos and now he's doing live streams. And now I'm having conversations with kids who have like 120 subscribers who just started six weeks ago and they're all bright eyed and bushy tailed. And, and sometimes drama comes up and they're like, wait, wait, what is this? What's going on? And, and it's, it's fun to see the new people cycle through. Um, and, uh, and sometimes those trolls, man, they'll stick around for a while, but you just got to keep your head high and keep moving. Great advice, Drew. Great advice. I can give you a couple of stories. I, I, my my favorite 
positive story. Now, first of all, it's hard to describe the comic book community to people who aren't in it. Oh, it's you know, impossible. It's, it's impossible. One, you know, I'm a nerd, you know, and these are all, we're all, we're all kind of nerdy. You know, we like, we like statues and Funko Pops and comic books and nobody else in my court. They're all great guys, but they look at me all cross-eyed like you, what, you know, just it's like you're not so. So first being part of a community where you share interests is, is one, but this community does stuff like send books to each other. It's incredible. It, it, it's called an AOK and I've never heard of anything like it. And the comic book community does it to a level that you've never even seen. The books that are flying back and forth to people. I have got a stack of post-it notes here where if somebody mentions a book that they're missing, I'm writing it down because sure enough, if I got it in my PC, I'll pull it and send it to them. Giant because size I'd X-Men rather have it in giant his size collection. X-Men number one, giant size X-Men number one, <laughs> giant size X-Men number one. Giant size X-Men number one. I, the, I don't see you this, taking notes. Yeah, right. This community is amazing that way. But very similar to what Drew said, there's a lot of a high school mentality in this community. My first, my favorite story is my first con is Chicago C2E2. Oh, and I'm wonderful. walking the floor and I'm pretty much a newer YouTuber. You know, I'm doing really well. And the first time you have somebody walk up to you and they know who you are, but you don't know who they are because they watch you. That's a cool feeling. Cause they're like, JB, and I'm like, yeah, that's me, because <laughs> you know what I look like, but I don't know what you look like. <laughs> that is a cool feeling, right? It's it's something that just you're you're walking on air, like I can't believe that just happened. This guy recognized me. And the first time you get to meet all of these people you're looking up to, the first time I got to meet Drew or the Great Legend or C. Woodard or any of the people from the you only look up to me because I'm taller. Him, that is a great feeling. Then you got the opposite end of the spectrum. And I'm not going to give a, a, a specific example because the person isn't doing it as much anymore. And if I now if I mention it, it'll come back. But I went for like a month straight, guys, where as soon as I clicked create a live stream, by the time I got over to my channel to add it to a playlist, I already had two thumbs down. Well, and I was like, man's comics. That's how it holy goes moly. <laughs> First of all, this guy's got me on like some crazy post notification or something because he's literally getting to my video before I can get to my own video. And then everybody in the community tells you, ah, don't worry about it. You've Badge made it. Honor. You've made it. You know, if you got a hater, you've made it. Well, for me, for my person, that was tough. That was, that was really tough to know that there's somebody that flat out hates me. Right. Before I even put anything out, you know, I haven't even, I'm setting up a stream for disco after dark at seven 30 in the morning. Why are you thumbing that down? Right. <laughs> I even told you who I'm going to have on the show. You take three hours out of your day to make something and somebody's just like, <clears throat> and you're like, why, why would you do that to somebody? So that's the worst part of the community, but you got to get over it because yeah. ultimately they'll get tired of you. They'll get tired of trolling you. And I did notice that, it got worse when I mentioned it in my live stream that it bugged me. Cause when I mentioned that it bugged me, then it was like, it was like clockwork. But when I just stopped talking about it entirely, probably guy got bored probably. And he just doesn't do it anymore. I still get one. There's still one today. We gave away, we gave away a bunch of comic books on my channel. Why would somebody thumbs that down? I mean, we just gave away comic books for three straight hours, free comic books. And somebody doesn't like that. Right. So, yeah, it goes both ways. You know, um, my channel, it was built on highlighting other community members and I caught heat for highlighting different community members from all the different groups. Now we may not want to mention it in this stream, but I'll be the one that does it guys. There was a big riff in the community when the list and all the change in the list and you guys are going to do the list and the list and the list and the list and the list. And there was a big divide of all these people. And I'm trying to just highlight everybody. But you see that there are clicks. It's just the way it is. You got to teach my kid now that these, you know, they're already in third, fourth grade. You're going to have clicks. And that they're going to be clicks in YouTube. Just get over it. I just say all, all people are welcome. 
I got nothing but love for you, homie. That's a little thing I play on my, on my, on my show and people are arguing in my chat. I just bust that out and, uh, and we roll because overall the community is really positive and you've got your two or 3% people that are going to be haters and they're always going to be there. So Brian, I think I could guess with you, but I could be wrong. Is JB's example your negative example or is there something else that strikes a chord with you? Yeah, I mean, I think we have we could probably could take a pick from a bunch of negative examples. <laughs> yeah. It's just part of having a channel, I think. Like yeah. you guys brought it up. And I'll tell you one thing, if you if you are a new creator, don't get discouraged because it's gonna happen. At some point, it's gonna happen. Someone's gonna thumbs down you, someone's gonna put a comment that's gonna strike you. The, and I'm perfectly honest, the first time it happens, it's gonna bug you. It I is. mean, unless you're super thick skinned, I mean you you are happy to be creating happy people are watching something and then you get that first negative comment and it kind of bugs you for a minute but that's the first one of many like they've been saying and by the t certain amount of time you're just like huh and then yeah. you kind of reply to them and if they keep doing it there's a hide user from channel button that comes in really handy yeah. you find out that they're really just a troll and it's not just someone that's just hey disagrees with you and wants to converse about it that's fine but if they're straight trolling hit that hide user from channel user. button and they're going. That makes a lot of sense too, which you just said there is like, if they're just a troll and not somebody who, who, who just wants to have a discussion and has a difference of opinion. And I run into that a lot in this community. And I think that a lot of that has to do with, you know, a good portion of us are very socially awkward individuals, right? And you just want to interact with the video you just watched. And, you know, out of the five minute video, two seconds of it really ticks somebody off and they might just hit the thumbs down button because of one word you said they didn't care for or a mispronunciation or for the dumbest reason possible. And their mean comment just cause it's text over the internet could not be that mean a comment. We all read text with our own inflection. So it's sometimes it's just kind of hard to interact with people that you don't know via this platform and uh and sometimes it can be confusing so it's i always think it's best not to take anything personally i uh, i have so many so many examples of posting a video and having a thumbs down yeah. before you know they could have possibly watched yeah more we put than 30 seconds of by it. the time they premiered right they're they're thumbs down before right, they're, yeah, they right. even premiere so it's like so that's that yeah. for me that for me it, it, there's as brian kind of mentioned right so like for us this first year of Brian and I teaming up and then like really trying to like push this channel. Um, it was a growing experience for me because there were, there was probably if I was to sit here and think about like, and the ones that strike me right off the top of my head hot are 10 negative. Last call. It, it, like it's yeah. Hot 10 and last call. Right. It's the, though in their negatives, right. They're like these monumental moments that changed our channel. But as you kind of talked about, it's like persevering. So with the hot 10, with the change up, there was so much about that situation that I never saw coming. So I was constantly. Especially with the people that was demanded an explanation of. Yeah. Well, we it, put out an explanation. It was, it was multi-tiered. So um, we're dealing with CBSI. Um, at the end of the day, it's not our final decision. We supported this decision, but it wasn't our final decision. It wasn't our end all be all decision, but Brian and I took 95% of the heat for it as if it was our decision. Um, that frustrated me. I was frustrated as Brian mentioned with the community kind of pointing at us saying like, you owe us this or you owe us that. And we're sitting here like, well, we'd love you guys, but we don't owe you anything. Um, and, and I don't have to tell you all the inner workings. Now we're comfortable talking about it openly, but at the time there were some restrictions to being able to talk about. It. And then finally, one thing that, um, full disclosure, uh, who knows if this will make it in the final edit, but th that fully was a learning experience for me is dealing with relationships. So like comic Tom and I had built a very good relationship in my mind. Um, and then with the process of the separation with the hot 10, uh, we had intended at least verbally to maintain that relationship. And somehow that fell apart. And I think we could probably both 
accuse each other, but that's the unfortunate thing about the politics that come into play a lot of times with this. So there ends up becoming so much that you could talk about, about that has happened since then, where like things like JB's talking about, where now JB, who really I feel like is one of like the people, I never understood why anyone ever had a problem with their show being on his, he's providing a service for everybody. He's, I call him the, the TV guide of, of the comics community because he's letting you know when channels, he's advertising your channel for free. His success ultimately benefits all of us. Yeah, that was one thing we were talking. As soon as we saw it, we're like, this is something the community definitely needs. Smart idea. And it's a way to ing- immediately JB ingratiated himself with so many people because there was no reason. So when the Hot 10 thing happened, I never even thought that like now there's two hot 10 shows i thought and i'll be honest with you i'm the one who told tom like hey just do the key collector list it'll work perfectly um and i thought okay he'll do the key collector list we'll do the cpsi list there'll be two different lists but the, let's be honest if you go on youtube and type in top 10 there's dozens of lists. Lists. right all kinds right of lists. so there i thought more than two people doing this gimmick right so i'm thinking so i'm thinking no big deal I was so naive to that situation because it turned into this whole, like, you can't have both lists on a show or you can't have, you can't have both people or you got to pick a side, which was never an intention. I was the super amateur YouTuber. Why did you take it away? Yeah. And it was just, right. So then, so then we went through months of catching negative comments of catching, uh, like, you want to talk about downvotes as soon as you start, like 50 downvotes as soon as you start. And then the other one was the last call show. So then we pivot and we're like, all right, we're done with this. We're doing it our own way. We're getting away from all of this. We're creating this new show. It's for the community. It's for retailers. It's for the industry. It's going to help everybody. And a, a Facebook speculation group decides that they own the rights to all this information and nobody else should disseminate this information until they say so. And therefore we were violating some sacred speculation code and they launched these like attacks where they would like post our video and tell all their members to downvote. But all they were doing while it was frustrating for a few weeks, driving traffic, driving traffic, giving us engagement. It was rallying our troops to, to hit the thumbs up, to try to combat that. Um, I look back at all the frustration through all of those situations and I feel silly because it was really, we made it through it. It was all for nothing. Um, we uh, stayed true. Me. I just paid yeah, to, pay attention I, to yourself. Pay well, your, your, advice to, to our, to our your, your advice to everybody about thick skin. Um, thick skin doesn't come naturally to most people. It, it certainly did not come naturally to me. Especially um, when you are one of those people that likes the community, you want to be involved in the community. So then when you get a negative aspect of the community, you're like, Oh, what the heck? What? It just, right. It's like, why does right. somebody got personal beef with me? Like you get to a point where you feel like your subscribers are your friends. Yeah. But then you also have to be very self-aware. Cause I had to look at myself in the mirror a few times and say, if I'm going to take a hard line stance on certain topics, I have to understand that I'm opening myself up for somebody to disagree. People don't like that. I think, uh, Incredible Hulk 180 is the first appearance of Wolverine. I oh, know it clearly that, is. I'm I know. That, I know that it pisses a lot of people off that I'm unapologetically unwavering in this topic, and I would debate anybody for hours on it. Read but, Marvel Universe Handbook for once. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing is, it, when I say that, I I know that that's going to trigger a certain people. So I try to tell myself, like I ask for it in in some instances. Oh yeah. Um, and, and so. I can't, right. I, I can't, I can't, if you're going to play the heel, you know, then you got to ask for, you got to ask for the heat. And in the and, Baron Corbin of YouTube. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Sometimes I feel like I got that X-Pac heat on YouTube. Yeah. And you know, I'm like, I come into a room. I'm like, Hey guys, what's going on? And people are like, Oh God, we're not going to talk about this again. I'm like, Oh God, <laughs> did I really do that? Did I make myself that guy? But they, yeah, you sign up to be that guy sometimes. I, right. I'm, the, I'm the king of hard line opinions. Well, it's like when we were on the comic court and you took the hard stance against DC comics, Brian and I are two big DC comics fans. I had fun in that conversation though. Right, but like, that's the point is, so we were both like, because like, I like comics, but we, so we're ready Marvel to argue equals comics. We're ready to argue that topic with you all day. But that's the point is we like the fact that you have an opinionated stance. Cause I appreciate that. I, for me personally, when I'm watching YouTubers, I don't like, 
the people who just try to play the mill, middle, the vanilla yeah, don't middle. Don't be wishy-washy, man. Stand for yeah. something. Yeah, let me know what, what you think, what you like. 